And we're obviously back to this awesome quality of uh, old school YouTube videos. Still have to use this camera. You're getting a video, right? Alright, so, um, guess what I did tonight on June 5th? Just saying. Uh, I went and saw The Fault in Our Stars movie, and I even got this cool little poster. Uh, but I did not see it the night before Our Stars. I, that was actually before what I saw. So, actually, I don't even want to get into all that. I have, I have weird movie preferences. But I was really excited to go, and I went with my mom, and I brought a stack of toilet paper. I, I'm not kidding, I brought a roll, actually a roll of toilet paper. And I was prepared to cry, and y'all, they weren't kidding. The movie is exactly like the book. If you love the book, you will not... I have weird shadowing going on over here. Just that it's that said that it doesn't have any light. Does this look better? Okay. So, I literally, like, the movie is exactly how the book was. Which is interesting, because I actually think it made me cry less. Because I was, ex like, I knew what was going to happen. So I didn't cry as much. I mean, I still cried. But it is such a good movie. And I have to say, like, casting-wise, I was very, very skeptical on Ansel Elgort. Just because, you know, I didn't, he's not, he's not, uh, how do I put this? He's not conventionally handsome. Like, he's handsome in a, his own, it's a very unique way. And there's something about him playing Augustus Waters that just makes him actually, like, I mean, make, makes him attractive to me. Because he's not somebody if I looked at I would be like, I, okay, I'm, this just sounds weird. Anyways, he's very, yeah. And something about his, like, I've watched a lot of his interviews, and he's just so sweet. That's what I want to tell my mom. Anyway, um, he just really, he seems, comes off really genuine and really sweet. So, him, he was a great Augustus Waters, and honestly, I've I think he should get an Oscar nomination for his work as Augustus Waters. He was so good. Uh, the other person I think who should be getting an uh, Oscar nomination is Nate Wolf or Nat Wolf. Nat Wolf, I believe, as Isaac. Isaac in the book was one of my favorite characters by far. There was something that about him that was just so special, and I really loved him. And I kind of loved the oddballs and the funny people of the group. They just, I, that's who I usually go pick and love and adore. And he was great as Isaac. He was everything I imagined Isaac to be and more. And I loved it. Besides that, he wasn't blonde, but whatever. That's not a big deal. Um, Shailene, Wood, wow. Shailene Woodley, though, was a nice Hazel. I wasn't very convinced when with the casting when I found out she was going to be Shaylee, or found out she was going to be Hazel, and I wasn't crazy convinced in the movie either. She's a good Hazel. I don't know if she was the best Hazel, but overall, good movie. It was tears, and the, it, the thing that I loved, cause what I was really worried about seeing with this movie is it, the fangirling, which sometimes bothers me. And what, happen, what, what I mean is, is all this, everybody gets so excited and so anxious and so squealy that they just squeal and are anxious and excited throughout the whole movie. That just makes me really anxious and it gives me, like, gets me nervous and it makes me not enjoy it. And they just talk through the movie and they squeal, like I said, and it, it, I, uh, it's hard for me to deal with. I can't process it. But I love that everybody... You could hear certain people who had their moments of their squeal because of something that was cute. And there was those iconic moments that happened in the book that or big moments in the book that happened in the movie. And you hear that <gasps> by everybody because we all know what it means or most of us know what it means. And then there was the unit, that moment where everybody was just sobbing together. And I loved it. I, I, it was funny, but I loved hearing all of us. Cause you, you know, there's some movies where... Everybody should be crying, but you maybe might be the only one, or you think you're the only one. But you could really hear just everybody crying, and it was very interesting. Except for the one girl behind me, who, if you recognize this face, and you went to the Cine Arts 9 p.m. in 
San Jose, California, for The Fault in Our Stars, I'm looking at you, Missy, you were rude. I cannot. She was, like, the worst type of person to go to this movie because she just made fun of everybody. Basically, like, she obviously had to be a friend who was dragged to this movie or whatever because when everybody was sobbing, she was laughing. And it wasn't, like, laughing like, you don't know how to control your emotions laugh. It was like, huh, this is so stupid that everybody's laughing right now. Um, and then when Hazel's doing this speech and she's making points about infinity and she had to be back there being like, nope, that's not it. That's incorrect. Da, 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 da. And I, I was like, I'm, I'm you. I did that, you know. I'm, shut up, bitch. That was what I was doing. Anyways, I'm mumbling. The point is, it was a good movie, and it's exactly like the book, and I, there are very, very, very few times like there are where it's like that, but where I can equally say, like, so sometimes even when a, book, a movie is like the book, you prefer one or the other, I could really say I prefer both of them. They are on equal standing with me. So anyways, now that I'm mumbling, look at what I got. Oh, I showed you, I showed you this, right? I showed you this, I showed you this cool poster. Did, did you see? Did you see this? Look how cool it is, you guys. This is, and I'm not gonna lie. If you can correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I can tell, when I was putting this in the light and stuff, these are the real signatures. These are actual authentic signatures. I think they sign. Like I think they actually just signed these and then mailed them out. These aren't like a print sign. From and it's just from what I can tell from how the ink uh, appears on the lighting. Uh, anyways. And they were just like, I didn't see The Night Before the Stars. I saw a movie, the movie after The Night Before the Stars. And they were just handing those out afterwards. They're extras, I guess. Um, so, yeah. That is all I have to say. That's my review of the movie. It is good. And if you're worried about it, don't be. That is all. Go buy tickets to it. And buy the book. And buy another book. And buy some more tickets. And take your friends. Because I am going to go take some friends to go see it, too. Uh, it's just, it's worth it, and I love John Green, so how can you not support him? All right, I'll see you all later when I get my shit together. Bye.